Good morning. Uncle KJ here. So we're going to look at Matthew chapter 6 this morning. So just uh, bear with me. I'm going to read the text off of my, my PC. New King James Version. So I may not have eye contact with you very much. So here we go. Verse 16. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their face that they may appear to men to be fasting. Surely I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting. Your Father who is in secret, before, uh, sorry, do it before, um, in a secret place, and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. So, question for you. So, if you're on a Daniel fast, because that's what your church does, or suggests you do, or demands or commands you to do, uh, are you supposed to tell people? Uh, I think by this verse, uh, no. That's my opinion. Anyway, but yeah, I think fast, fasting is good. I haven't done it personally for, I'm not sure if I've ever done it before actually. But uh, just um, think about that. But it's, uh, the point is we're not supposed to do it so that we're doing it for men. Uh, we're supposed to let our light shine, uh, to bring glory to God, not to ourselves. I think that, that's the whole point here. Lay up treasure in heaven, verse 19. Do not lay up for your treasure, for yourself treasures on earth. Does that mean you're not supposed to have a job? You're not supposed to earn any income? No. Um, there's many verses that talk about money. Money is not evil. It's the love of money that is the root of all kinds of evil. So it's okay to have money. It's okay to have a bank account. You don't have to have it under your mattress unless you want to. Well, let's just read in context, okay? Lay not for your treasures on earth, for moth and dust, rust destroy, where thieves break through and steal. Lay for yourselves treasure in heaven, for neither moth nor rust destroys, where thieves do not break in and steal. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That, I believe, is the main point, is where your treasure, where, where's your heart, is your focus on Laying up treasure in heaven, which is going to last forever. How does the money get there? Well, you give money to missionaries, for example. Um, people are won into the kingdom. They become born again Christians. That's the eternal treasure that's in heaven. That's what lasts, that you get rewards for. Uh, the money you earn down here, you collect it just for yourself. It doesn't last, it, it's gone. So, you know, focusing, uh, using your money wisely to invest in other people's lives. Um, have your own business that can help other people that can lay up treasure in heaven. Uh, you may think of other, other ways that that can happen. Verse 22. The lamp of the body is the eye. Now, my eyes aren't that great. I am legally blind. Without glasses, uh, 20 over 400, basically. I'm not going to explain that to you now. You can look that up. That's just the way distance you can see, um, etc., etc. So, uh, so yeah, so physical eyesight is, is very important. So it's like the lamp of your body. What you see is what goes into your brain. And you can look up all the technical stuff how your body reacts and get the messages to the eyes and so on. So if your eyes are good, your body is full of light. Your eye is bad, whole body be filled with darkness. Now of course it's not, I believe it's talking about your spiritual eyesight. What you can see as far as things that are not of this life are concerned. Beyond this life. Um, but, but it's a contrast. And then he goes on to say, No one can serve two masters. Either love the one, despise the other, 
be loyal to the one, or you know, love or hate, you know, love the one and hate the other, or loyal to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and money. If money is your God, then you're not serving God. God is not your God. You cannot serve both. And then uh, do not worry. I remember I said that, uh, you know, like Bob Dylan's song, you got to serve somebody. You can't serve God and money. Verse 25, therefore. Now, if you think of what the word therefore is therefore, it's related to what we just talked about. You cannot serve God and money. So, you know, therefore, if you're, since you're serving God, then you don't need to worry about your life, what you'll eat or drink, or your body, what you'll put on, for your, or, or you know, are the, it's not life more than food, and the body more than clothing. Yeah, clothing is important, obviously. Look at the birds of the air. Uh, the Father takes care of them and gathers for them and feeds them. Are you not much value, more value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit or one minute to his life? So don't worry about your clothing, what you're going to eat. Uh, in the birds, um, Heavenly Father feeds them. And all these, all the creation and all its glory and splendor is not, even Solomon is not arrayed like that. And then, you know, end of verse 28. So, you know, worrying, you know, because, you know, our, the questions are, oh, you have little faith? Are you not trusting God for what he can provide? Uh, yes, we need to make our effort, get the job, you can, but if you're in a struggle or whatever, God will take care of you. You need to do what you have to do. Therefore, do not worry. What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your Heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. All these things will be added to you. Does it mean it's going to be, you're going to be rich and prosperous and all that like some people are teaching? Maybe. But not necessarily, but God will provide what you need, not necessarily what you want. I like the verse, uh, the way the chapter ends, verse 34. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about its own things, sufficient to the day and its own trouble. So today has, a, has its own trouble. So there's no point in worrying about tomorrow. It's one day at a time. And I uh, just wanted to share those thoughts. Uh, you may agree, disagree. You may have much more, uh, much more to say about this and, and than I do. And feel free to share your thoughts. And if you want more content like this, uh, please comment. Comment below. And would appreciate uh, you hitting the like button and subscribing, of course, to this channel. Take care. Bye for now.